live, there aren't as many judges that can, can challenge that because that can have proof. If somebody challenges somebody and says that they're not an Israelite under the law when they claim it, that means that they're dead. Like, literally, they will be decapitated. So, that's why I carry a gun. I mean, so, what? I mean, what? They, you know, they want, they want to say that the people who ordain government are going to be slaves and servants and serve a bunch of garbage and have all their food be poisonous and all their money be stolen? I think they already did that. When they, when they stop, but I don't agree to that. If they did that before I was born, like, I don't agree to it now. Like, beyond any jurisdiction or any laws of the United States government, beyond that, I do not agree to be defrauded. So, like, you know, that's, that's pretty much the basis of, of my, uh, you know, political stand beyond, you know, the, the Constitution that, that you know, I can comprehend the legalese aspect, the historic aspect, the actual, you know, just the regular thing about it. And also, beyond that, I am a man and I never agree to be defrauded in any sort of way. So, I mean, that pretty much covers everything, right? So, like, I can get into the minutia, and it's not just me, because I've listened to scouting people than myself. But also, why would I agree in any way to be defrauded and sign my name and willingly go along with that? That's against my best interest. And I'm not going to do that.
that's what they told me. For your safety, go inside. I got, I got my gun in my hand for my safety. I ain't needing my safety. I need the police here to take care of the situation. I'm just pointing out, right, right. But whenever I, like, hear something, I pretty much, if it has anything to do with relying on the government for protection yeah. or for anything other than putting the fruit on my deck, I stop. Pretty much. You guys, you need to go around the other side. That way we don't have to go to the other side. Well, I mean, that's about it. Heat stroke. Heat stroke, and eight months later, I went through the wind. 
screen shield of a car. Yeah. 25 years ago, I, sh I, I shouldn't even be alive now. You said you were in the service? Yeah, for four months. Vietnam? Nope. Just Army in general? Yeah. Went in in 86, got out in 87. Did you get injured or something? <laughs> Flat feet. They said, adios, you're out of here. That's interesting that they they let you in though. Yeah, they knew I had they had they had they knew I had flat feet, but my ASFAB scores and everything else were so high. They, we want you in, we want you in. And then when I couldn't run and couldn't do everything that I was so they wanted me to do, they why can't you run? It's like I thought I came in here to fight. But I know that I had to run.
heat up the bullet, the lead will ooze right out. But the lead will, and then you can just re reshape it. You pour it back in the bullet. Thank you. 